guys, this is me again with more of my awesome Japanese skills. Skills. Extra Z's in that one. Um, this is a very special video for the one and only at Brock42 on um, Twitter because he liked my last video and whatnot. And he wants to learn something to write for his lovely wife, Amy, so shh, make sure she doesn't see this, okay? This is only for Brock, 42, and whatnot, so shh. And if you don't know who that is, he's Andy's dad. He's amazing, he's kind, and he's sweet. And if you have a Twitter, go follow him. He mostly follows back fans and everything if you ask nicely and everything. And he gives out great support and words and whatnot. Um he's amazing. He's so kind and sweet and supportive and whatnot. So and he tweets back fans and whatnot. <laughs> I say whatnot a lot. <laughs> but like, yeah, he tweets back fans and if you are afraid like he's not gonna tweet you back, I bet he's probably will. So does Amy. They retweet lots of stuff from fans, pictures, um, anything, and so it, just go follow him, you'll not be disappointed, he's one of the people that you gotta follow, and it's like, amazing, he has amazing words and stuff, so, yeah, this video is for him, cause he wants to write something in Japanese for his wife, which I thought was really sweet, and so I'm gonna be writing what he needs to be writing for Amy. So, this is how it's going to go. I'm going to start with a blank white sheet of paper for this. Oh, I scribbled on the corner to make sure my pen was working, so, yeah. Okay. Paper. Okay. First, we're going to start off with a kanji for watashi, which means I. And then you have the relational wa, which is actually ha afterwards, to com make the whole entire thing flow. Okay, ready? Okay. Okay. Hope you can see that. Okay. Do I need to rewrite it? Probably. I'll do it again. Underneath it. Over to the side. Watashiwa. And this is pretty much him saying he loves Amy, so... Yeah. Watashi wa Amy. And because her name is an English name, you use, of course, katakana, which is what I'm doing. This is because I'm going based off the sound of Amy instead of the actual writing of Amy. I'll be using the katakana for E, which is this weird I. When you write it, make sure, okay, I'm going to write it off to the side. The top half of the I is smaller than the base, and make sure it connects all the way. But the base is always going to be bigger than the top, okay? Because you have to have a big base to support all of the top weight and everything. So, yeah. And then you got me, which is three downward slashes like that. Three downward slashes. And me. Then you got. Ga. And because I don't feel like. I, I suck at writing the um, kanji for big, because daisuki means big like, which is the closest thing you can get to them actually in Japan saying I love you, is saying love, is big like, because it's a rarity to hear like Japanese people go and say aishitaru, which means I love you, so this is the best way of doing it, okay, 
Snego Ta ten tense, which makes it da, then I, then I'm writing the kanji for su, which is like this. It's think of it like booty bump or something. That's what somebody in my class um, last semester told me to remember. He said it for everyone, and that's what it sticks: booty bump. Think of it as an a Ashley Purdy reference if you have to. I don't care. Um, and it's like that. So I don't really know how to s explain it. It's just like straight, then swoop down. So then, of course, think of a really large T. Don't cur a three. I mean, not T, but like like don't curve it at all. You want it mostly to be like straight, and then you have to add the flick at the end, and then line through the t there. Then the key. I think it actually slightly looks like a key because the prongs and everything, or the or low key because the shades. He's wearing two shades. If you want to think of it, because sun also looks like that. And so it's like that. So daisuki, and you add des, which means pretty much period, and then an open circle, and like a tiny one for the actual period. It goes, it says, I love Amy, but for if you want to get complex, and at because there's many Amys you could love, the we all know who, which Amy this is talking about. But for the purpose of this, I'll add the last name and everything. So I'll end up rewriting it right here. Sashiwa. Err, that's not supposed to be like that. Eh. Hang on. I'm sitting on my bed, so it's probably a lot easier than it was like the last few times I did this. So, yeah. The oh crap! That wasn't supposed to go there. So ignore the scribbly part. I was looking as I was going a little too hard ahead of myself. Yazuku ga. Okay, when you're running ga, because it looks so much like ka, make sure it's not like all straight and whatnot. It has to be more of like you curve. It's more like a curve flick. Like think of making a horseshoe or something, or a bird's head or something like that. Don't make it all pointed like this. It has to be more of a curve. And when you write just ka alone, it has to have that in hiragana, or it doesn't count and whatnot, and it'd be like, what the fuck are you trying to say? Okay? So ga, then, of course, you know, I'm writing this at an angle, I'm sorry. But, yeah, it's supposed to look like that. Not really that, <laughs> but because of how I'm writing, yeah, it's supposed to be like that. Okay. This. So, yeah. And I'm going to write something, like, 
family related next. Yeah. Screen. I'm a cheater. <laughs> I know. I'm a cheater because I'm looking off this, which is pre-written named. I don't know. I fail. Yeah, that's nice. But, um, I, I'm going to do this as, like, because there's family and whatnot, and it's a sweet, like, little notion. And I'm going to check my net mentions real quick for, um, my Twitter. Which I had Hulk Hogan tweet me, so. <laughs> fan moment! Sorry, had to do it. I'm an avid wrestling fan, has been for like the last 13 plus years. <laughs> Hi. Uh, back to this. Uh, I get, again, I'm thinking of writing Chris and Amy love Andy, their son, so. Oh, so cute. Uh, to say that, I. I don't want to say mother and father. I've yet to figure out son. I know how to say brother, though, which is weird. Uh, so if I was, I guess I would have to look it up later. How would you say, or ask my teacher, how would you say son so I can write it out? But um, when you're referring to somebody else's parents, or you're calling, like, try and get your, par your parents' attention, you use oka, you have to be careful when you say it, oka san which means mother, you have to drown out the ah, because if you go clip it, everything, okasan, you can, like, if I'm correct, it'll be referring to, like, your aunt. And you don't want to call your mother your aunt. And otosan, because if you um don't draw out the toe, and otosan, which means father, you can be call, like, calling him your little brother, Amelie, because um, little brother is ototo, so you have to be careful, okay? And here in a bit, if you want, I'll show you how to write father. And um, to, like, if you're just regular talking to your parents without, like, calling out to them first, you use chichi, which happens to mean father, and haha, -ha, which means mother. And I'll get more complex later if I feel like it. We haven't gone to the in-laws and whatnot, so I'm sorry. But yeah. I know. Kuri su to. Emmy wa um D Bye. I should, when I'm writing your names and whatnot, should be like, Kuri Su San. Because I'm being, I should be really polite, but I'm, this is, I'm teaching Americans this, and America, we're not going to be like, oh, hi, Mr. Chris, or Sir Chris, or anything like that. We're going to be like, hi, Chris, hi, Amy, and whatnot. We're very informal. If we know to, if we pay attention to crap, so I'm not really paying attention to adding son at the end of the names, even though it's respect to my elders, because in Japan their hierarchy is based on your age mostly. So 
yeah. Um, but yeah, it should be writing Christmas to Amy san wa Andy san ga daisuki das. Which would mean Chris and Amy love Andy, which is their son. So, which would be understandable. And I could write probably if Black Veil Brides as well, like Chris and Amy love Black Veil Brides. That would be obvious, but yeah. I'll probably do that in my next video. I'll be like, oh, this is how you write probably. Not 100% sure, because I was doing it based off sound when I first wrote it. Black Veil Brides. So yeah. I hope you... It's really complex. Um, I hope you people enjoyed this video. I hope Chris enjoyed this video with um, learning things about the whole entire writing system and how to say he loves Amy. Don't tell anyone about this video. Don't tell any, any bleh, bleh. <laughs> Don't tell Amy about this video, okay? I think in my next video I'll probably start like something with Brian Stars. So do mind fuck him or something. I don't know. But I hope Chris enjoys this video and will rate this on a card soon to his wife. And I'll probably be throwing in more Japanese lessons for Black Veil Brides, and hopefully later the hemp portion and everything. Um, leave comments, rate, fave, I don't really care. Um, in the comments, if you want to see something in Japanese, want to learn certain things, or whatnot, just comment in the video in the uh, down below and just tell me what you want to learn and I'll try my best to learn it because I'm only in Japanese too. I don't know everything. I'm still learning and I hopefully will learn more from you as you will learn from me. So this is a learning experience. Um, I'll let you go and hope you guys have a wonderful time with this. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to leave you and everything, and go watch The Voice and cheering on Juliet Sims, who I love her voice, and it's not just because she's Andy's girlfriend, which is a bonus, but she has a great voice. So, I'm going to be here, hoping that she ends up going to the final. So, yeah. Um, so, Jane, Janata, bye bye, sayonara, however you want to phrase it. Bye. Hope you guys enjoyed my lovely long video if you're not asleep by now. Okay, bye-bye.